This is the first Mustang to ever have a configurable display, and I had a chance to chat with the chief engineer, and he told me all about it. And that is coming up right now, right after I tell you that this review is brought to you by American Muscle. Click on the link below to their website for aftermarket parts for this Mustang and every other one. Tell me about uh, why you decided to go with the digital display. So what we wanted to do is take um, a piece of the interior and make a huge change in the car. And from what we have available at Ford, the, the biggest asset we had was a new digital 12.3 inch cluster. And so what we've done with that hardware is we've written unique software code to basically take a digital dash into a Mustang and customize it for what our customers want that dash to do. So it's got three different views. Yeah, let's change them around. You know how to change them around? Yeah. yeah. So well, let's, let's uh, play with it. We got the camera facing it, so let's see what it can do. So this is, in essence, that's sport mode. So okay. when you the dash is set up, that you can do the cluster views that are tied to the selection from the mode switch, and that's the way this is set up. So, and now I'll go to track. So track is something that we've set up by our uh, vehicle dynamics team and our professional drivers that work with Ford. And what we wanted to do and had them drive the car on the track is to give them just pure function that they could see easily and look down. And uh, it was something you knew exactly where the car was, where you're against the red line, and then just clear crystal information. Yeah, it's cool. You got two basically RPM meters, one one that goes across vertically and then the traditional linear mode. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That sounds really good. Mustang's pretty much set up, you can go to limiter while you're sitting in the parking lot. Okay. Any other modes? So, um, so you can go to, back to normal, so normal, and then the normals. So the way it's set up, the exhaust system is also tied to the mode switch. So. Aggressive. Yeah, and yeah. that's for it. Well, that sounds deeper. It's got more baritone yeah. to it. Yeah. Now, how do you do that? How do you change the exhaust load like that? Uh, we have uh, it's a fully variable system. So we set up and we set the steel up, both the resonator and the exhaust mufflers so you give tuning capability mm -hmm. and then we've got two valves on the outlets of one of the pipes and those will be continually variable based on rpm load of the vehicle and uh, pedal response and basically we tune those we've got a dedicated mustang exhaust tuner who will go through and just make sure that algorithm is accurate to give the sound of a mustang but also give you that ability to decide how loud you want to be and then some of the other features we've done. So you can just, you can also change the mode. So here's quiet. So quiet we've done is. So if you want to sneak in. Yeah, or sneak out. Or sneak <laughs> out. Early, yeah. yeah, that's very quiet, yeah. And then track mode gives you the full cojones here. <laughs> so I wanted to give uh, people from a factory the, the best we could do to have an exciting feel to the car and just give that overall let's, V8 let's, performance. So let's talk about some of the other modes this car has now in terms of performance. So you've got um, you've got launch control, but only in the stick shift, right? Mm -hmm. And how does that work? You can put it, you can set it to a certain RPM, yep. and, yeah. and then you floor it, and it stays at 2500, yep. and just let go of the. Yep. Clutch and yep. thing takes Boom, off. Boom, got okay. it. Yep, yep. So that's launch control. We had that in 2015, so we bring that through. How about how about the um, the kind of the, the, the control for the um, automatic Mustang, right? That's so basically that's in. Um, so you can for the control for the automatic. Yeah. What you do is you just basically own a drag strip mode, and that's the way you want to launch an auto, right? So in essence, that gives you the best transmission calibration. Yep. So basically, between shifts you'll basically not pull the inertias down on the transmission, so the acceleration of the car won't dip 
not a shift, it actually straight through on acceleration. So you don't have traditional launch control, basically you pull up to the lights, you yep. wait for it to turn green, you floor it, and then the just rips those 10 yep. speeds, right? Rips as fast just, as possible. Yep, you well, got it. Almost like you're power shifting. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's exactly right. It feels like that, so when you drive it, the car will actually, on the one-two shift, it has this lunge that it goes forward because we haven't slowed down the transmission for the shift. And then the two, three, you can actually feel the shift as it kind of propels the car forward. It's really a, a cool sense. Now this guy has magnetic ride control. Yep. And what that'll do, I guess, in the drag strip is it won't squat down. Right? Yep. It'll, it'll, it'll actually firm up the rear suspension so when you take off, it yep. stays perfectly flat. So what, what the algorithm has, and it updates like a thousand times per second, it has the ability with four ride height sensors and then understanding what's going on for the brake actuation, for the brake pressure signal, or the throttle signal, or the yaw rate signal, it basically can decide I'm going to basically hold you up in a corner, or I'm going to hold you in pitch, or I'm going to hold you in roll. So it has that ability a thousand times per second to decide what the damping is going to be. It has this element of a uh, quasi-static that we actually, for Magnaride, you get a bigger wheel bearing, same wheel bearings on a Shelby and a bigger knuckle to basically in the front be able to get the most out of the Magnaride system so we get rid of the structural compliance in the system. Well, thank you very much. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thanks. I don't know about you, but I love the fact that not only can you configure the display, but you can customize the sound that that car makes. And you have to admit, that is one of the best sounding V8s out there. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Car. Check out TFLcar.com for more news, use, and of course, everything you ever want to know, reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.